Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Schlag number 36-082-050. This is a half inch blocking ring is what this is. A blocking ring is generally used underneath a compression ring. A cylinder collar that has a hollowed out area or the head of the cylinder can sit inside of it with its wave washer and a blocking ring will generally sit behind that and a half inch blocking ring not unusual not uncommon but you're going to see them mostly when you're dealing with a really long cylinder wow that is spot on that is 0 0.5 0 0.5 on the nose uh, you usually don't see manufacturing that has such a perfect tolerance 0.5 exactly so you're going to use a thicker co uh, blocking ring in your application if you're doing something like seven pin interchangeable core mortise cylinders on an exterior uh, like an aluminum storefront sort of application or some sort of unusual unusually long cylinder and you get into seven pin IC and you're sure going to be looking at longer uh, or thicker blocking rings, I should say. Okay, so that's half inch, and they're going to make uh, lots of thicknesses available. And there's a pretty large chart below this video showing all of the compatible cylinders, blocking rings as well, uh, with and without compression rings. Your blocking rings are listed there, the locks that they work with, just a whole bunch of information. Okay, so the rest of the dimensions, we know that it's half inch on the thickness and you'll be able to do these an eighth inch all the way to half inch I believe that the manufacturer Schlage will be able to do custom sizes I know that other manufacturers can Schlage ought to be able to I would imagine that they can so reach out to us they just don't list them any bigger than half inch the outside dimension of this is 1.485 1.485 on the outside the inside dimension is 1.165. 1.165. This is in the 626 finish. That does mean that it's not only satin chrome with a brushed finish, but it's also made of solid brass. It's not magnetic, that we know. 626 and that part number specifically means it's made of brass. And I have no reason to question that from Schlag that this would be made of brass. There's also a link below this video to a document called Technical Drawing where you can review the dimensional properties of the item that we've already gone over. Not much of a chamfer on this to mention, although it is very marginally chamfered, which is typical. Uh, they don't, oh, they do, they indicate the chamfer chamfer optional both sides um, it, 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 it is chamfered on both the inside and outside not that that really matters but just to point it out the proper installation of this would be so that it is loose on the door the OD of that should be slightly greater than your cylinder so if you're using this blocking ring with just the cylinder over it whether it be most likely a mortise cylinder possibly a rim cylinder for some reason don't know why you might have that you might have a rim cylinder type application where you need to build this head of the cylinder off of the lock set that you're installing it into you might have a sh uh, shut off on an exit alarm on a standalone uh, annunciation alarm on a door where you can key bypass that those generally will take rim cylinders although mortise cylinders as well but if you're dealing with a long rim cylinder you need to, and you need to build that body off there you might bump into a rim cylinder application you want this to be loose on the door so that it spins not so that it rattles on the door but you do want it to spin because if someone comes to put a pipe wrench on it and try to attack the head of the cylinder to spin it off to then easily manipulate the lock you really want that to turn rather than the head of the cylinder and that's why that ought to be able to be turned when it's properly installed. Okay, Schlage is a utterly comprehensive provider of all things uh, lock related, whether it be grade one mortise, cylindrical locks, tubular deadbolts, 
grade two material for residential, commercial and residential use. Schlage has been manufacturing locks, locks since well before World War II. They have, ha they have a very colorful history of many great products. Some of them they still even make today. They've discontinued some that I wish they never had. Their E series, uh, their B400 series are good old locks that, um, that are missed. My phone thinks I'm speaking to it. Um, Everything you need to know about Apple products is at Apple's website. There's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Schlage products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog and other encyclopedic documents are there as well, such as key system answer book, guides to key blanks, discussions on restricted keyways, a variety of other catalogs, including some archival catalogs, uh, old versions of catalogs, and that continues to get updated. For instance, there's a 1959 published wafer lock service manual. Wafer lock was a very common lock made by Schlage probably until sometime in the 1980s. Um, I know that I saw them in the early 1990s, but I'm quite sure that they were well discontinued by then. Um, I don't know when they would have discontinued the wafer lock, but the 70s or 80s, and it probably was manufactured since sometime about World War II. A bunch of neat stuff is there. And another little interesting diversion that you can take, you can just search Google patents for Walter Schlage and find dozens of things that Mr. Schlage brought to market, or at least patented. If you have any questions, and they're sold as each, by the way, if you have any questions on the Schlage 36-082 and an 050 thickness and a satin chrome finish, and you can get this material in any finish that they manufacture their locks in or any other Schlage product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.